Hello, Kim 100 students. A really good question popped up under the Ask a Question discussion forum. It's for Chapter 4 homework, which isn't due for a while, but we might as well uh, learn how to format this properly. So in Chapter 4 homework, problem number 3.34, you have to put the answers in isotopic notation. That's where you have the mass number on top, the atomic number on the bottom, and then the elemental ice, uh, the elemental symbol. So I just realized I had input the answer to this one, so that's okay. Uh, to show you this one, I'm gonna just put the same answer so that I don't answer part B as well, but I'm making the video to show you how to use the isotopic notation. So for part B, I would go to this little icon right here and usually when you hover over icons, it'll tell you what it is. But this, this icon right here, if I click on that, you'll see this A over B. It's a template to stack superscripts and subscripts. The superscript is the top number, the subscript's the bottom. If I click that, I can then go ahead and type the numbers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this wrong because I'm typing the numbers from part A, but just to show you how to do it, now that I've typed in the mass number and the atomic number, again, this is gonna be the incorrect answer for part B, then I can click outside of it, and then I can just capitalize the elemental symbol, hit that, and then you'll see, and this is no chemical reactions occurring. Go ahead and submit, and I'm incorrect because, yeah, it's supposed to be neon, okay? But that's how you would enter this. So I hope this video helps. If you guys have any further questions, post them on Ask a Question discussion forum. Thanks.